Alright, um, hi everyone. Um, this is my first time trying to do a video um, with my webcam instead of my cell phone. Um, I reformatted my hard drive um, a couple months ago and hadn't gotten my webcam software back on my computer, but last night um, got it back on um, and um, I'd had trouble with my webcam before, but I thought I'd give it another shot. So, um, let's see how this turns out. It's certainly easier to use than holding my cell phone. Um, uh, if anyone has suggestions of um, things, I, I'm become I've become really sensitive to the sun. Um, I might I burn easily from the IV antibiotic I'm on now that I'm on a higher dose. Um, so like my nose, you can't tell, but my nose is really, really red and like my cheeks are really red. Um, even if I wear high SPF sunscreen and like, I'm not, I'm not always good at remembering to wear a hat, but I'm trying to be better. Um, but that doesn't always even help. But, um, like if anyone has recommendations of really good hats or like really good clothes that would be easy to wear in weather, um, or, you know, really sunscreen brand or, you know, anything like, um, Please, please let me know because I'm kind of. This is new for me to be so sensitive. Um, it's been a while since I've been on a medication that's made me so sensitive to the sun um, during the summer. So I'm kind of struggling with that. Um, when we go to the playground and stuff, it's um, you know, it's it's hard. And like I can tell when I've gotten too much sun, it's just like my nose will start tingling, and it's a really weird sensation. But like, <laughs> just a clear sign that I've gotten too much sun. Um, so, yeah. Um, so any suggestions are greatly appreciated. So, um, yeah, so I've been really tired and, like, my my concentration has been bad. And um, last Friday um, I had an appointment with my counselor who also has Lyme, incidentally, and her fam whole family does and, um, like, is a good counselor for me because of that. But, um... I had, I don't think I had had an appointment with her when I'd been feeling quite that bad, um, and, like, my, my train of thought just was really awful, and I couldn't think of words, and, um, you know, she, she was like, well, you know, kind of nice to be able to see, you know, what you like when you're not feeling well, so, um, yeah, so I've just kind of been struggling a bit, um, and hopefully... Um, hopefully things will calm down. We we only have, after this week, we just have one more week of regular school, and then the summer camp program starts, but that's kind of more relaxed in general. Um, and I'm not working the whole summer there, so. Um, in other news, um, I, I don't think this is ha had happened before I did the last video. I think I was in Oregon when I did my last video. Um, so I have news. Um, I got a new job for the fall, starting in September. Um, I'm going to be teaching at a preschool closer to my parents um, that's in the same town where I teach my theater classes, um, which will be really nice um, to not be commuting so far to, to do the theater classes and to be closer to my parents and to be, um, to be able to afford, afford an apartment by myself um, and have lower living expenses. Uh, so that's really good. Um, excited about starting there. Um, it's going to be less hours, but about the same salary, which is really, really good. Um, and I'm hoping I'll have my days off, so um, I'm hoping to be able to come up um, sometimes and sub at this preschool, my current preschool, to stay connected here and see the kids sometimes. Um, so there's that. We've been very busy at preschool, um, going to the playground, um, which we have, I took videos today, um. Yeah, so, um, you know, we've been having fun and trying to, like now kind of the stress of the art show is letting up, we're trying to let the kids run around a little bit more. Um, it's been a lot for them to be getting done. Um, I'll try to put up somehow maybe a video or something of 
the art show and, and everything, because um, the kids really did work hard on it, and, you know, us teachers did too. Um, so things are kind of winding down there. Um, theater, my theater class shows went really well. Um, sorry. Uh, my oldest class did um, Beauty and the Beast, which was the weekend before last, which went really well. They did a fabulous job. Um, I was I was really, really happy with that. Um, we're going to, hopefully, with um, with that same group and possibly with some other kids added, I'm not sure, um, we're going to, next spring, um, have the um, intention of having a little bit of a longer session and um, writing our own play, which I think will be. Um, so, and then last, this past weekend, my intermediate class had their production of The Pied Piper, which was not as fabulous, but they still did a fine job with it, so I'm um, just kind of glad that it's over and I'm not having to do as much driving, because um, when theater classes are going on just for the classes, I'm, I drive about five hours a week, so it's kind of a lot. <laughs> um, and I'm really kind of, I think, crashing now from the last couple of weeks. Um, and really needing to spend a lot of time in bed. Um, and I'm trying to be really good lately about taking all my meds because I haven't, I haven't really been very good about it. Um, so I'm trying to be much more organized with it and on top of it. Um, I um, am taking the uh, mitochondrial transfer factor. I'm taking the Lyme-specific transfer factor. Um, I'm on the full doses of both of those, although the, the Mito transfer factor. Um, I often forget to take the afternoon dose of it, which I did today, and it's 6.30, so that didn't happen. Um, I also um, started the Miso Silver, but, um, and I was doing fine with it, and like, you know, while I was in Oregon, it was easy enough to remember to take all the doses, but it's a liquid, and like when I'm at work, it's really hard for me to remember to stop and take that, so um, I need to figure out something to um, make it easier to take that, um, whether it's like going and buying like oral medicine syringes and filling them up and like keeping them in my purse or what, because it just, I'm not remembering to take it, and therefore have not been taking it for the last couple of weeks, which is not good because we're trying to give it a good, uh, you know, trial run to see if it's going to help. Um, had an appointment with my primary care doctor, who's also my Lyme doctor, um, last Monday. Um, basically, oh, um, I am not getting that new antibiotic. Um, it was an issue, and I'm not getting it right now. Anyway, um, so for right now, I'm still on the IV doxy, um, pulse, pulsing in the flagell, or at least attempting to. I'm doing pretty well with it, but sometimes, you know, I don't know. Sometimes just the scheduling is hard. Um, and then when I see uh, when I see her again, we're either going to add um, an oral antibiotic called rifampin in, which will target both um, Bartonella and Lyme, um, which I probably still have an active Bartonella infection, even though I'm not positive for it right now. Um, or we will add in um, Diflucan to try to get at the cysts, because the flagell may not be really getting them right now. Um, so that's the plan right now.